What's up guys and welcome to our Smash Brothers Wii U Q&A. So a couple days ago I put out the call for questions for Smash Brothers Wii U since I've had it for about a week now. And boy did you guys deliver with more than a thousand of them. Probably well more than that even. And some of them are really tricky. I actually had to do a fair amount of research to fully answer these questions. Um, so I picked out the best ones. I'm going to answer as many as I can right now. And that starts with a whole bunch of Amiibo questions. Because apparently a lot of you are curious about Amiibo. So first up we have AFK Cyndaquil who asks, How fast does an Amiibo learn? Well, I was actually just playing around with them uh, for an hour or two a couple nights ago with one of my friends in several A-player matches and uh, some smaller matches too. And they were learning pretty quick. I think my Kirby got up to level 27, just about an hour, hour and a half maybe. Um, which, and I think they cap out at level 50. So I don't know if they're going to start slowing down at this point, start leveling up slower like in most RPGs, or if they'll keep up that pace. Um, but so far, it seems pretty quick. Uh, Nut of Death asks... Quick question, if it's not in the Q&A, does importing custom moves from 3DS that aren't on the Wii U unlock them forever? Okay, so here's how this works. Um, I actually made a whole video about this, by the way, so if you've already seen, this, seen that, then you already know the answer. Uh, you can transfer characters, you can't transfer moves specifically. So basically, if you transfer a character that has moves from your 3DS onto the Wii U that you haven't already unlocked, you'll, still, you'll be able to use them, you can use that character. Here's the thing, it will not unlock those moves. In fact, you can't even modify custom characters. So, uh, unfortunately, you're going to have to unlock them all again on the Wii U. I know, a bit of a bummer, but oh well. <laughs> uh, Juan Torres asks, What can you do with Amiibo and how does it work? Um, so basically, you can just scan them in and use them in multiplayer matches. So, you know, 8-player Smash or even 4-player Smash, really any Smash match you can use them in. Uh, I don't think there's another context you can use them with uh, in terms of actual gameplay. But of course, you know, the main thing about the Amiibo is being able to train them, and part of that is being able to... Uh, equip them, you know, a special uh, different equipment, uh, which you actually feed to them, and you can only feed them a certain amount before they get full, uh, and then you have to play some matches with them before you can feed them up, you know, power them up even further. So that changes their stats. Uh, and then, of course, um, you can change your costume, you can change your specials, like a custom character, uh, and then it's all about just training them in matches. So that's really what it's about. Uh, Jacob, the person, asks, Do the Amiibos get scratched easily? Are they tough? Uh, and are they tough overall? Um, okay, so that's, you know, kind of hard to answer fully, because obviously I'm not trying to scratch my amiibo. I am trying to take some care of them. Uh, I will say they feel fairly well built with, so I don't know if they would scratch easily. With that said, they do feel a little bit fragile at the same time. Like, I'm feeling Mario right now. I feel like I, like, if you put him in his pocket, if, or put him in, <laughs> put him in your pocket, I feel like you just break off his cap. But like, it does not feel very thick, and it feels like it is, it would break off pretty easily. So, these are things I would definitely be careful with. Again, not necessarily in terms of scratching-wise, but just more in terms of them breaking in general. Uh, Toad and Friends asks, Are the costumes for the Amiibo characters the same ones you can use in regular matches, or are there different ones? Um, I'm not quite sure what he's talking about, because you, there aren't any costumes for the Amiibo, as far as I know. Um, there are costumes for Miis, but there aren't any Mii Amiibo yet. Uh, also, is there a way to change your Amiibo's costume after the initial register? So, maybe he's talking... Um, Equipment rise, or maybe he's talking about like uh, uh, the amiibo skin color. I don't think he can change, or you know, I mean, the outfit they're wearing rather, the alt costume, um, like changing Yoshi colors. I don't think he can change it after the initial creation. Um, you can, of course, delete your amiibo if you want, then recreate it. Uh, you can do it do it, the, do it that way, but I don't think you can uh, you can change it uh, after you've created it. All right, uh, and no, John Thieslin. Oh man, I totally butchered that. And I'm sorry to everyone whose names I'll be butchering, but there'll be a lot of them. <laughs> he asks, "Do Amiibo work in Classic or All Star mode?" They do not. Um, you know, you can't play uh, at least Classic mode in, or you can put both of them with two players, of course, but you cannot use an Amiibo. It has to be a human player, unfortunately. So again, it seems like Amiibo can only be used basically in Smash matches. Uh, Song the Hedgehog asks. Can you use other controller options while uh, in Smash while using the 3DS? You can. Um, you can use basically. You can use almost any combination of controllers. So if you, if you have a 3DS connected, you can still use any other controller to, to control the menus as well as play Smash matches. Uh, Lego Baby 899 asks, Do you have to be playing as the same character uh, as the Amiibo to train it? Like if I wanted to train Lil Mac, would I have to play against him as Lil Mac? Nope, you definitely don't. Uh, you can use any character. In fact, when I was training a couple nights ago, uh, I was using pretty much characters that weren't them at all the entire time. Uh, so yeah, it's entirely possible. Now, I was talking to a rep at Nintendo, and he, he did tell me that, uh, I mean, according to him, like, he said that it did make a difference. Like, they may, uh, it may be easier to train them certain, te train them certain techniques doing it that way. Now, I don't know how much of that PR speak. Uh, but according to him, that did make a difference. So, uh, I'll have to, I haven't fully tested that yet, so we'll have to see. Uh, Randy 
Iglius asks, are you able to use your amiibo characters for a two-player co-op mode on classic or event matches? Um, okay, well, that's basically the same question. Uh, you can't use them in event matches either, unfortunately. I wish you could. All right, uh, moving on, Caleb asks, uh, does team battle work with amiibos? Yes, it does. You can use uh, amiibo in any form of Smash match, or yeah, any form of Smash match. Um, Nick School asks, if you have an amiibo you want to trade to someone, how can you change the console that the amiibo is set to, and does all the data stay on if you can't? So again, I made a whole video about this, so you can check it out. Uh, but basically, there, the new Wii U update added the ability to delete amiibo. So, uh, or delete amiibo settings. So all you have to do is scan in the amiibo, delete it, and they can give it to your friend and it's his. Um, or his, you know, your friend could just take it to his house and probably do the same thing with the amiibo. Uh, so yeah, it's pretty easy. Ryan Witt asks, can you make multiple save files uh, with an amiibo? Um, no, you can't. An amiibo can only save a single game to at a time and your game only track uh, an, amigo within, an, amigo, an amiibo within a single capacity. So, um, yeah, so unfortunately you can't have multiple save files per se with uh, the same amiibo. Of course, you can use multiple amiibo um, if you want. You can have multiple of the same amiibos. I'm sure that would work just fine. Uh, but again, not with the same amiibo. Mr. Fix 2 asks, Hey, Game Explain, how does it work to enter more than one amiibo into the game at the same time? Like having two figure players in one Smash battle. It literally is just going to the Smash screen and just scanning them in one after another. They disappear in the character slots below, and it's that easy. Uh, Jeff Dozier asks, um, looks like we're finally off the Amiibo questions now. Uh, Jeff asks, How does a 2 slash 3DS work as far as gameplay with the Wii U? Have you tried it already? And how would you say it works? I will be honest, it worked surprisingly well. There is like, there is no leg at all with the 3DS. It functions as any other controller, which is great. Um, it really isn't unexpected, but it still feels, still feels surprisingly good. Um, and I would actually go so far as to say it feels better on this game than it does on the 3DS. With that said, I would still much rather use a GameCube controller, of course, but in a pinch, 3DS wouldn't, isn't the worst way to go. Um, and, uh, yeah, again, it's leg-free, so it works surprisingly well. Uh, Scarisky, asks, I heard, no, I was not confident on that one at all. Uh, he, she asks, he, she asks, I heard that you can use any music from the game as a menu music. Is that the case? So yes and no. So here's the thing: if you go to the my if you go to the my music screen from the settings screen, you can change the menu music. But the menu music is a set selection, as it is with a stage. Um, so it gives you, you know, mostly other menu music from past Smash Brothers games to, to choose from, as well as a few other Smash Brothers like you know melodies. Um, but that's it. However, if you go to the sound test mode, you can actually choose any song you want, and then it'll play for the duration while you're on the menu. But it's just for that one time. And as soon as you come back to the menu, it'll change back to, uh, you know, one of the randomized menu selections. Next up, Palsy Downing asks, do the amiibos feel hollow inside? And do they feel fragile? Um, so I mentioned they do feel a little bit fragile. I mean, it's not too bad. You don't have to, you know, handle them with, with super protective gloves. But again, if you're carrying them around, you will want to put them in something. Um, as for the hollow question, the amiibo themselves don't really. I mean, I think they might be, but, uh, like, let me check Kirby real quick. Um, I mean, I'm sure they are. But they, they feel pretty good, actually. Like, Kirby, I'm even tapping. He does not feel hollow. However, the base of the amiibo, where the, all the, the electronics are, that does feel that does feel uh, very hollow. Um, so that actually feels a little bit cheaper to me than the rest. Ty Buford asks, Dear Andre, oh, this isn't that nice. Can you roll with a C-stick while holding L or R like in Brawl? And does Palutena's Guidance have to be played uh, or have to be used in Palutena's Temple? Um, yes, you can roll with a C-stick just like in Brawl while shielding. And Palutena's Temple, Palutena's Guidance does have to be on Palutena's Temple. In fact, it has to be on its primary form too. We will not work in the Omega form. Uh, awesome Cauliflower 68 asks, Have you seen Isaac, Chunky Kong, or any other Wii U exclusive assist trophies? Um, I have not. I have not seen any Wii U uh, exclusive assist trophies yet. Uh, if there are any, and it seems like there aren't. <laughs> uh, Liz O'Neill asks, What is your favorite mode not including Smash? Um, I would have to say, at this point, probably Events Mode. That could change, um, but I think Events Mode is my favorite thing about this game so far. Uh, besides, of course, Smash. Uh, Sean B asks, For Smash Brothers for Wii U, can you save and read custom stages by using an SD card like in Brawl? Um, as far as I can tell, you cannot. Now, unfortunately, I don't have an SD card that's, that seems to be working with the game for whatever reason. I don't know why. Uh, but the game does bug you, like, for photo mode, because you need the SD card for photo mode. Um, so I'm pretty sure it would bug me or have some kind of option in the stage creator if I could use SD cards there. And it doesn't seem to be allowing me to, to, to do so. Uh, so at this point, it seems like you save only to the internal memory. 
Um, whereas for photo mode or photo album or whatever it's called, you do need an SD card, which is a little bit annoying to be honest. Uh, and Mick Ice PE asks, I heard that controllers need to be Wii Remote Plus. Am I right? Uh, and when playing with nunchucks, do you need a Wii Remote Plus too? No, you do not. It can be any Wii Remote, just as with Smash Brothers Wii U. Or, sorry, Smash Brothers Brawl. Um, it does not need to be Plus. It, it, uh, standard Wii Remote works fine. Uh, Tyler Cuker asks, Are there additional parts to unlock for the stage builder like in Brawl? If there are, I haven't come across them yet. And I've done most of challenge mode. I've done, I've done pretty much most of the things you can do in this game so far. Uh, I have not seen any unlockables for challenge mode. Sorry. Uh, I mean, granted, maybe there are some still, but uh, that seems unlikely. Uh, Yoshi Mitsu 126 asks, Is online better than Brawl at 1 versus 1 or even 4 players? Um, I can't answer that yet, because unfortunately, the, um, uh, the online's not working yet. And it won't be until the game comes out, actually. Uh, so unfortunately, we won't be able to cover that even in our, even in our review. I'm sure we'll have coverage uh, on the online after it goes live. Uh, Game Dragonfly asks, uh, do your coins from the 3DS version carry over to the Wii U one? Um, they don't seem to. You can only, as far as I can tell, you can only transfer uh, characters and use the 3DS as a controller. Uh, two, are the danger zones in the larger stages as annoying as they seem? Um, so far, they I'm, I've been okay with them. I mean, they're only in the one stage being Kirby's uh, Great Cave Offensive. Um, I haven't played it enough to say for sure, but it seems okay to me. I mean, I like the idea of them. So I'm fine with it right now, but I mean, that could change. So we'll see. At right, number three, will we, ever, will we ever see the return of Yosh, which is my first amiibo at Nintendo's preview event? Man, I hope so, dude. Uh, I miss my little guy. Somehow, you know, I've got Mario, Link, and Kirby here. They're not the same. I even named them, like, Kerb and Lin and uh, Mar, which is terrible. I actually renamed that. Uh, it's, it's not the same, man. So, I need my Yosh back. <laughs> Alright, Gerald Blade asks, Star Fox Fighter on the Star Fox stage a few days ago. Does the dialogue change... Okay, this is a very confusing question. He's asking, does the dialogue change in the Star Fox conversations um, when you have Star Fox or Falco on the stage? They do not. In fact, the conversations won't even play. Uh, because the conversations involve Fox and Falco, you actually can't have them on the stage. Um, so yeah, that was a little bit weird and threw me off for a bit. Uh, K. Broly asks, is Ridley more or less annoying than the Flying Man? And can you get doubles of custom moves like you could in the 3DS one? Um, I will say at this point... Uh, Ridley is definitely less annoying than, than, uh, the Flying Man. He shows up less frequently, I mean, he doesn't appear as fast, I don't think. And once you take him out, you know, he's gone, uh, at least for a while. Um, whereas Flying Man reappears pretty much right away. Uh, so yeah, definitely less annoying. Um, as for custom moves, yes, you get duplicates, uh, like in the 3DS one, unfortunately. Uh, Rival Blue 99 asks, do Waybirds work with a GameCube adapter? I checked it, they do, thank God. Uh, so yeah, every type of gaming controller, you know, officially will work. Stealth Thing asks, Hey Andre, is there a reward for defeating Master Core besides receiving a trophy? Um, I don't think so. Uh, if I remember correctly, I don't think I got anything of importance for beating him, unfortunately. So, um, or even beating, uh, Master Fortress, to be specific. Uh, Martha Webbers asks, Are there a lot of secret stages or new stages we don't know are in the game? Uh, I can't really answer that. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I'll have to skip that one. I don't even know why I left it in here. <laughs> Trenton Kilman asks, C-Stick integration in menus. <laughs> that is literally his entire question. Nope, there is no C-Stick integration in menus, unfortunately. Sorry, I know I missed it too. The Fregal Gamers asks, even though the GameCube controller is returning thanks to the new adapter, are the controls changed or altered in any way, like the GameCube controller and Mario Kart Wii? Um, no, that is, I mean, it basically functions exactly as it has a past Smash Brothers game. The only change, that I mentioned myriad times before, is the fact that the C-Stick can now be used to charge smashes instead of activating the weakest form of a smash. Um, the only other slight thing, maybe, is that on the option screen when you're changing your controls, you can actually change the C-Stick to perform different functions, too. Um, like, uh, like, uh, special attacks, for instance. Now, I don't remember if that was in Brawl. It may have been, so, but either way, uh, it's there if you want it. <laughs> um, it's a little bit weird, though, because you can only activate, you know, you can't activate your default special with it, so it's not really a great option. Um, but you can do other things, too. I can't remember all of them offhand, but there you go. Caden Harris asks, Can you play the game without a television screen and use a gamepad screen to play? And can you do this but use a game controller and just watch on the gamepad? Yeah, it has full support for off-screen play. Basically, uh, it, it's, it, it's always displaying off-screen play, except during a match, where you can choose either between off-screen play or if you tap the screen, you can also have uh, everyone's character portrait as well as their K or as well as their percentage displayed on the gamepad. Um, just like it is another way of seeing the damage uh, you know you've done. If you so we can put you prop it up and everyone can see it maybe more easily. 
Um, otherwise, yeah, you can use off-screen play all the time. Um, except in stage... Well, yeah, even a stage builder, I guess. Because that's how it was built. So, yes, everywhere uh, off-screen play. Um, the only weird thing is, actually, real quick, is you can't... You, it has no touch controls except a stage builder. Um, so, I've been... Like, I was trying to tap the menu icons, but it looks so touchable. And you can't do it, which I don't understand. Caden Harris asks, Does the new Smash Brothers uh, uh, GameCube controller have the same tri-wing screws as the original GameCube, GameCube controller? Um, yeah, they, they seem to. The only difference is the ones the, the ones the new controllers are using do seem to be a little bit bigger. Um, otherwise, the design seems to be the same. Alex Fab asks, Are unlocked characters and stages shared among all Nintendo, Nintendo Network IDs registered on your Wii U? Um, they actually are. I checked and everything is unlocked. Um, at least character and stage-wise, uh, on different profiles on the Wii U, which is actually pretty cool. So everyone will have to unlock it on their own profile. It's all set to go, um, which is awesome. Unless you really love unlockables, in which case I guess it kind of sucks. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I think that's a really, that's a really cool thing. Okay, Jared Geyser has a few questions. Uh, first off, how many stages are there? Um, well, I can't answer that. Uh, is Smash Tour online? Um, so I can't, you know, I haven't checked online, obviously, but it's not online. Uh, however, I did check the instruction manual, and there's no mention of Smash Tour at all. So, uh, yeah, it seems like you can only, you know, do everything on the 3DS, you know, online. The same, you know, everything you do on the 3DS online is the same stuff you can do here. You can do battles, you can check replay, spectating mode, and, uh, that's basically it. Um, what features have Nintendo not shown off yet? Uh, you know, I don't know if there's anything really that I can think of that they haven't really shown off in some form. I mean, there's probably some small thing. That they haven't talked about that you may have seen in some of our videos even or you will see at some point um but there's no nothing major that they haven't shown off really uh can you transfer data from the wii u to the 3ds only only characters um that's it and then would you rather have seen smash tower of smash instead of smash tour uh well we're getting into kind of review territory here i will say i really like the idea of smash tower um, and I am disappointed it's not in the game. It would have been really cool, but, you know, <laughs> what can you do? Uh, Omar D. De Santiago asks, Is there a limit of amiibos you can play with at the same time? Can you play with them in 8-player Smash? Uh, yes, you can play with 8-player Smash. I don't know if there's a limit. Um, I only have three amiibos, so I've only been able to test with three, but, uh, it does seem like, I, I mean, I'm guessing you can use eight amiibo at once. I don't know for sure, but I don't, it looks like there's nothing to, to prevent that, so... Um, Jared Jeremy asks, when you select a character using the Wii Remote, does the speaker of the Wii Remote make a sound like a, uh, that corresponds to the character like a Smash Brothers Brawl? It does not, unfortunately, so that is one minor thing that's gone. Uh, the Nintendo Nerd asks, can you put a target on a player using the Wii U gamepad like in a 3DS version? Nope, you can't. As I mentioned, tapping a screen only cycles between the character portraits and off-screen play. Uh, it does nothing else, it adds no targets. Um, not that you really need them in this game, because you can actually see your character on this one. Uh, Nerdish Camel asks, Does Stage Builder feel better than Brawls? It is. Um, it's still limited in its own ways. Uh, but it definitely is, uh, definitely feels to be more robust than Brawl. Or that's what I remember of it. Um, Amazing Cantaloupe asks, Here's a doozy. Uh-oh. <laughs> is there any delay between the 3DS and Wii U when you use the 3DS as a controller? Okay, well, I guess I addressed that already. There is absolutely no delay I could perceive. And I am really anal about that kind of stuff. Um, as you may remember, during my GameSpot days, when I was talking about Killzone 2 leg, and I got hammered by uh, everyone about that before it was released. And then once the game came out, everyone was like, oh yeah, the game does have a leggy feel to it. Uh, yeah, so um, there is absolutely no perceptible delay I've noticed with this 3DS controller. So if you can use a 3 if so if you don't mind playing on 3DS, you will love it here, I think. Um, the, J, uh, the JCI400 asks, how do you think someone's Final Smash like Fox, Falco, and Pikachu's work when you control it, um, when on jungle hijinks. Like, if, if Fox got the Landmaster, could everyone go to the opposite plane and be safe? Uh, so it works exactly as it, you, as you said it would, basically. Um, and as you would probably think. It only works on the plane you have it on. So Pikachu can only attack people on that plane. Landmaster only works on that plane. But here is something interesting. As soon as someone activates a final smash, the barrels go away. So you can't, you can't move between, uh, between layers or between planes. Uh, while someone's using a Final Smash. Um, which kind of sucks if you had the Final Smash and everyone else, everyone else is in a different plane. Um, which also means if someone's using a Transforming Smash, like a Transformation Smash, like, uh, like Sonic, for instance, um, those barrels are gone for quite a while. You know, like 10, 15 seconds. Um, so yeah, that's just kind of an interesting thing I noticed. The TNT Terminator asks, Can you play a local 8-player Smash on just one console? Um, and do you have to have the GameCube controller adapter and four GameCube, and four GameCube controllers to achieve this? I'm not sure if I fully understand this question, but you can only play 8-player Smash on a single console. It's not online, 
Um, so yeah, I mean, to answer your question, yeah, you can just play on one console. Um, now, you, if you want to use all gaming controllers, you do need two gaming controller adapters because they allow four each. But you can also use any combination of controllers too, basically. Um, you connect up to seven Wii remotes, as I think, as I mentioned earlier. Um, you can, or you can connect up to eight 3DSs. And on top of that, you can also use Pro Controllers too, or the gamepad. I mean, it's it's kind of ridiculous how many different configurations there are. So I don't think most people have too much trouble, at least, uh, you know, gathering eight controllers together. Um, Luigi Fan asks, are there assist trophies or Pokemon that aren't in the 3DS version that are in the Wii U version? I mean, I haven't done a cross, uh, a, 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 a cross comparison. What's the word I'm looking for? Cross reference comparison. Um, so, but I don't think so. I, I think they've remained complete parody, as far as I can tell. And then he asks, what stages can you play on the five players that you couldn't compl that you couldn't do with eight players? Um, and then what about six and seven as well? Okay, so basically, let me break this down for you. So obviously, one to four players can play on every stage. Um, now, if you have eight players, that's when you have the fewest amount of stages, and that applies to seven as well. So seven to eight players have the least amount of stages to play on, and it's the same same set. However, if you play with five or six players, you gain access to a couple more, or a few more, I should say, um, which includes Sky World and Pac Land, um, and maybe a few more than that that I can't talk about. <laughs> uh, and then also more Omegas become available too, oddly. So if you're playing with five or six uh, players, you will actually have a greater selection of Omega stages than you would with seven or eight. Um, so I'm guessing there's too much happening maybe on the 7 or 8 player, or on the some of those Omega stages that can't handle it with all those players on screen, but I'm just theorizing. Uh, Benjo Gaming 99 asks, are there certain things in the game you're not allowed to talk about? Examples like unannounced stages, modes, and easter eggs. Um, yeah, I mean, obviously I can't talk about <laughs> too specifically. What I can mention is there are some stages I can't talk about, uh, and I can't really show off or talk about trophies too much. Um, I'm not quite sure why. It's weird, but I can't I can't show those off. And uh, that's that's about it, really. Um, yeah, uh, everything else is completely off limits, or yeah, off limits as far or on limits. <laughs> uh, there's no other restrictions on the rest of the content. So um, yeah, so don't hold out for any huge surprises that we don't know about because there really isn't. Um, with that said, there's a ton of stuff here. So Mario Luigi Brothers asks, can you connect eight Wii remotes to the Wii U for eight player Smash, or do you need other controllers like the GameCube one? So I've already answered this a few times. Basically, you can connect seven Wii remotes. Um, not eight, unfortunately, but uh, that's because of a limitation of the Bluetooth technology. Um, the Wii Remote uses Bluetooth, and the device it connects to counts as one of eight devices it can potentially connect to. Um, so that's why you can connect seven and not eight. Uh, but that means if you have uh, that many, uh, you know, Wii controllers, and you know, plus you have the the, uh, the gamepad, you're set. So, uh, okay. Uh, Dennis Billington asks. Can you give us a breakdown on all on how all secret fighters and stages can be unlocked? Um, I can answer the fighters one. I don't think I can answer the stages one specifically. Uh, stages is just like the 3DS in that you can it's just KO based, based or it's match based. So I believe once you finish 100 matches, you'll have all the characters unlocked. Um, so I'll be I'm sure I'll be making a video about that soon. Um, there may be alternate means of unlocking them, but I didn't. Uh, spend enough time to find out if there were, but I unlocked them all right away with just just through matches. Um, okay, Donald Davis asks: Since the GameCube controller is for Smash Brothers only, does that also include Brawl? The description on the GameStop website says it does, but not. But that's all I've heard. Have you tried this? Um, I have tried it. It will not work in Brawl. Um, so unfortunately, there is no way currently uh, officially to use ga uh, GameCube controllers in Brawl on the Wii U. Zito Arius asks, for the Palutena Temple conversations, were you able to solve the mystery in the 50 Facts Direct on how Mario and Ganon were able to activate them even though Pit is nowhere in sight? Um, so we did actually. Well, kind of. So we know that that conversation came from one of the Mii characters. I forget which one exactly. I think it was a Mii brawler. Um, but, as far as I can tell, there was no way to activate the, con the conversation without Pit being there. Um, and in fact, Mii brawler wasn't even on the screen either in that picture, as you, me as you mentioned yourself. So I feel like that had to have been from a debug version of the game or something. Um, they must have been using debug to answer to activate the conversations, and that's why they had that set up. Because there's no way to achieve that in the game as far as I can tell. Uh, Makeru D X D 13 asks, Do the challenges get harder and harder in Master Orders, or do they have the same difficulty? P.S. Poor Yoshi was replaced by Curb T... <laughs> P.S. Poor Yoshi was replaced by Curb. Yeah, I know, it's, it's sad. Um, okay, as for Master Orders... Uh, I'll be honest, I don't remember offhand. I don't think it gets harder. I think it's just a random assortment of challenges. I could be mistaken, um, so don't take this as 100%, but I think they do just, you know, they just change of their own accord. Um, I don't think they get necessarily harder. 
Uh, Louis Chico asks, when you connect the 3DS to the Wii U, will custom moves and possibly equipment transfer? Okay, answer that. Um, all right, a lot of you wanted to know the answer. <laughs> uh, I promise I do go through these guys. There's so many questions, it's hard to keep them straight. Uh, Scoot the Dog asks, can you play 8-player Smash on the stage you build in Stage Builder? Um, no, you cannot. There's no option to activate custom stages in 8-player Smash, unfortunately. Um, I'm not sure why, but you can't do it. David Cash asks, is there any sign of Target Smash? Um, yeah, Target Smash is in the game, um, uh, just like in a 3DS one. It works basically the exact same here. The only difference, I think, maybe, is uh, the bomb is bigger in the second round. I don't think that was the case in 3DS. I could be misremembering, um, but the bomb does get bigger in the second round. Uh, Silv uh, Silvory asks, or Silvory asks, how hard is it to mash out of Nabbit's bag? If you could try the variety of percents, that'd be great. Well, I did just that. That's what I mean when I had to do a lot of research for this. Um, yeah, it's really easy to get out on 0%, you have no damage at all. If you have like 60%, which is what I checked out next, it's actually a fair amount trickier. Um, yeah, like I, I, he actually took me out before, I think I tried a couple times. He got me the, I got out the first time, but barely, and he got me the second time. Um, so yeah, it just depends on what damage you ha you're you at. Uh, Riet, and also how fast you match, of course. Uh, Riet asks, how are the trophies in the game compared to the 3DS? Are they better? Are the trophy descriptions more interesting? Um, I mean, I can't answer anything too specific. The trophies look awesome. Um, they look really good. Uh, I haven't read too many descriptions yet. They seem pretty much right in line with the 3DS one, though. But I can't show them off specifically either. Uh, but yeah, I mean, they, they look good. So if you like the ones on 3DS, you'll love them here, I think. Mario Dark Tony. On a scale of 1 to 10, how difficult is Master Fortress to you? And what did you think of the fight? Um, well, uh, since it took me about, you know, 6 tries to get through it, um... I don't know. It, it's hard to say. On a scale of 1 to 10, I don't even know what that means. I'd give it maybe a 7. Like, it took me... I mean, as I mentioned, it took 6 tries to get through it. So it actually is pretty tough. Um, I feel like once you get good at it, it probably won't be too difficult. But you do have to deal with uh, those, you know, those uh, danger zones. Just kill you instantly if you touch them 100%. Which is really annoying if you're bouncing around from being hit by an enemy attack. Like those laser beams that go through it. And we actually just talked about that in our recent Smash Direct. So if you want to hear more about it, you can check that out. Um, so it's pretty tough. And, what I, and then he also asks, uh, what did I think of the fight? Um, I enjoyed it. I thought it was cool, actually. Uh, it's something different, and it's, you know, it's it's cool to have some platforming in this game. Um, but it's something there that's really not anywhere else. Uh, besides and maybe some of the bigger stages, if you want to consider them that. Uh, Javier Cabier, uh, Cabier, Cabier asks, If you're on the stage Palutena's Temple and use Dark Pit's Down Taunt, can the same thing work for Dark Pit like Pit? So he's asking if you can activate the Palutena's Guidance conversations. Um, no, you cannot. As far as I can tell, pa tip, uh, tip, Pit's the only character it works with. You can't do it with any other character. Woo, I'm running out of breath here. Jeez. Cameron Jackson asks, how are the loading times in the Wii U version? I hope they're, as, I hope they're not as bad as Brawl's and the 3DS has loading times. Um, I'm happy to say, oh, for the most part, they are really good. They are really quick. Um, yeah, the, the the load time from the from starting up is way faster than brawls. Um, doesn't take anywhere near as long, and then just even getting into a match still feels yeah, feels speedier than the 3DS one. Um, I will say there are a couple times when you're leaving a match and going back to the menu, it take it seems to take a little bit uh, of time. Never too bad, but I have noticed that sometimes, and not even every time, but sometimes it does, does take a little while. Uh, but overall, I've been very happy with it. I've not had any major complaints about the load times. Hipster David asks, Can the GameCube adapter work with Wii games like Brawl and Wii Virtual Console games? Um, and will it work on the Wii U Virtual Console games? Okay, no, as I mentioned, it won't work in Brawl. Um, it, I mean, it only works in Smash Bros. Wii U as far as I can tell. In fact, even the Masterpiece games um, in Wii U or in Smash Bros. Wii U, which are just, you know, which are just Virtual Console games, don't work with a GameCube controller. You have to use either a Wii Remote or a GamePad or... Um, pro controller or something else, you know, something along those lines. Um, gaming controllers won't work, which is weird. Uh, the total overload asks, I know you are under an embargo, but about talking about some unlockable stages, but can you say, you, are you happy with the amount of unlockable stages? And have you unlocked the song Lightning Battle from Kid Icarus Uprising? Um, I don't think I have a Lightning Battle. I, maybe I have. Uh, I don't remember seeing it. Um, as for the unlockable stages, uh, yeah, I can't answer anything too specific. I mean, obviously, I always wish there were more. Um, who wouldn't love more stages? So, that's all I can really say about it. Nerdish Camel asks, In your opinion, which is better, Smash 1 or Smash Tour? Um, yeah, I can't, again, get too specific. And we actually touched on this in our um, recent discussion as well, just posted early, earlier today. Um, at this point, I would say I prefer Smash Run, um, but I need to play Smash Tour a little bit more, just to, to save a certain. So, uh, Paul Kotsu asks, 
Smash Brothers question. <laughs> Good, I'm glad you have that. That's a, that's what we're doing here. Uh, do the enemies of Smash Run ever appear in the Wii U version? Like Mr. Bonkers and the Bellborb, for example. Um, I mean, the Bellborb does exa does appear, but, you know, as a background element of uh, the Pikmin 3 stage, of course. Um, otherwise, no, they, do they don't appear here at all. Um, they do seem to be pretty much exclusive to Smash Run. Uh, Simon Sandwich asks, are the events of Smash Tour mode interesting, uh, or more interesting than they are in Smash Run? Um... I'd say they're about on par, maybe a little less interesting overall, because they're all just Smash battles, um, as opposed to in Smash Run, where you would have different challenges, like climbing the tower, or having a race. Um, so yeah, so, you know, there's there's some limit, there's some limitation variation they can offer. Alki Beverdam asks, are the character uh, aliases also shown in the Omega form of the boxing ring stage? So in case you missed our video um, on the boxing ring, uh, you know, the punch out stage, um, in the background on the TV, every character's portrait will appear if they're in that, or, you know, any character in that match will appear on the TV screen, along with a little nickname given to them. Um, so in that video, I was on the punch out version, obviously. Uh, but I can confirm it will appear in every variation of that stage, whether it's the Smash Brothers version, the Omega version, or even the Omega Smash Brothers version. <laughs> um, so no, no matter what, you will see the character aliases in that stage, which is which is cool. Shoal0207 asks, I have a few questions. Are you already have you already unlocked every single stage? Yes, I have. The game told me I did. Um, and what do you think about Master and Crazy Orders? Um, I think they're interesting. Uh, special orders can be a little bit, or Crazy Orders can be a little bit frustrating <laughs> because it costs money if you don't have a ticket to get in. Um, and if you don't make it through, you don't get any prizes at all, really. Um, or you lose out on most of them. I, I, it's something along those lines. So, yeah, it can be a little bit frustrating. Um, but yeah, they're, they're definitely interesting. So they're definitely something new to Smash Brothers. Uh, the Bug Production, Bug Productions asks, What level are your Amiibos and how fast do they level up? Okay, answer that. Uh, Jawad asks, Hey, a question. Can you use the C-Stick in Smash Brothers for tilt instead of smash attacks? Uh, so as I mentioned, you can set the um, the C stick to multiple functions, and one of them is actually the ability to do attacks, um, which means yeah, you can use it for tilt attack. So there you go. Next up, uh, Joe Plasma Rep asks, can custom stages have multiple songs like normal stages, or just one like in Brawl? Unfortunately, it is just one. You can only set it up to have uh, the one, and that's it. So <laughs> but you can't choose from any song uh, in the game, basically. Like you choose what series you want to pick the song from, then you choose which song of that series. Uh, finally, French Potter Melon 108 asks, are you cool? Well, my mom tells me I am. <laughs> Alright guys, that's it for our Q&A. Uh, thanks for watching. If you liked our video, make sure to like and follow us on Facebook and Twitter at Game Explained. It's a good way to keep up to date on everything we post, as well as ask us questions about the games we play. Uh, that's usually where we'll put out the call for questions, so just, you know, make sure to do that if you haven't already. And of course, uh, keep an eye on GameSpin.com for more on Smash Brothers Wii U and 3DS and other things gaming as well, including our upcoming review on the 19th, which is really soon. Alright, thanks guys. Bye.